the if function tests to see whether a certain condition is true or false. It will return one value if the condition is true or another value if it's false. For example, we have here a list of scores in one column and a pass no pass column next to it. We want to create a condition where the score of 70 or above would receive a pass and anything under 70 would get a no pass. Click the insert function icon to access the function wizard here. Uh, usually we can type if to search for the function since we already have it here. We'll just go ahead and click OK. The first field is the logical test field. This is a field of any value that can be evaluated to be true or false. In our example, we want to evaluate the condition where a value of 70 or, or over would be the true condition and a value under 70 would be false. So we select the cell that's part of the test and press, which is here, and just enter the greater than or equal to 70 and click in the field for the next one, which is the value if true. It's the value that's returned if the logical test is true. So in our rows here, since the value is over 70, the logical test, the logical test would evaluate as true and we want our output to say pass. The third field is this value if false. Now this is a value that's returned if the logical test is false. So if the value is under 70, the logical test would evaluate as false and we'd want to output to say no pass. Click OK. And we can see our output in our first row. So go ahead and double click the fill handle here to copy the formula down to any of the other cells. And you see any of the cells that are 70 and over have a pass and anything under 70 would have a no pass. So this is a simple use of the if function. Thanks for watching.